Hey everyone, Joel Hans here, and today I am outside Farmhouse Thai Kitchen. Yes, Farmhouse Thai Kitchen here doing their little loud challenge. We are at their Menlo Park location, guys. I gotta say, this is one of the most beautiful restaurants I have ever seen. They have these stunning chandeliers, they have flowers, it is just absolutely gorgeous. So, what is this little Lao plate? kind of challenge, what does it consist of? Well, it's not little, I'll put it that way. It's actually a giant Thai food challenge, guys. Absolutely insane. So we have everything from like pad thai on there. There's this blue rice, yes, blue rice made with flowers. There is braised short ribs. We got um, a signature fried chicken. Um, like so many items, spring rolls, like there's just, it's a pile of stuff, eggplants. I'll get you the whole thing. This whole tray feeds something like five people. Um, but yeah, it looks awesome. It sounds so delicious. Um, but yeah, let's head in, let's have fun, eat some food. Great to be in this Bay Area. It's kind of the San Jose area. They have locations all around the Bay. Um, but yeah, I'm super pumped. This one's like basically, I think like an old train station or something. But anyway, I'll get you some more details. So let's head in, let's have some fun, eat some food. Guys, Thai food, big, big, big Thai food. You want these kind of international foods, we're bringing them to you. So let's go eat some delicious food. Hi everyone, so here we are with the absolutely giant little Lao set. This is amazing, it looks huge. I've never had such a colorful food dish. So I actually am here with Boom um, from the restaurant. She's gonna walk us through a little bit better what we have in front of us here, because I might butcher pronunciations, but let's start with here. So we have a giant short rib. Yes, this one is called Panang Nua. It is um, based from the Chef Kasim's childhood memory. So. He grew up with his grandparents, followed them to the local market, learned how to cook all the spices and herbs, you know, make the big meal for his entire family. And this is one of the signature dishes. I, yeah, like braised beef ribs, guys. If you don't know, I love beef. Beef is my favorite. So, and short ribs are so delectable. I know it's gonna be awesome. We have some uh, some roti bread, but we also have this fried chicken. Now, what's, what's up with this fried chicken? This looks super unique, super crispy. Yeah, this one is called Hat Yai Fried Chicken, another signature dish here. So uh, it's like nice tender uh, piece of the chicken and then also served with uh, anchan or the blue rice. The blue rice, yeah guys look at this. It's literally blue. I've never seen rice like that and that's from a flower, right? Yes, it's called uh, butterfly pea flowers. So then we make the tea out of the flour and cook the rice in it. So it has a lot of antioxidant, it's good for you. I'll take yes. it, I'll take it. Has some yellow curry. Yes. Is that to eat with the chicken or? With chicken and with roti as well. Sweet, yeah. I love it. We also have some spring rolls. Yes, the crispy spring rolls here and served with uh, sweet and sour sauce Amazing. and samosa underneath. Samosa to ah. be good with the yellow curry as well. So samosa, spring rolls. Now, yes. what's these little, what's these little beef things? These look awesome. They're like little beef appetizers. Is there a cucumber in or something? Yeah, so then this is the marinated uh, wagyu beef wrapped uh, cucumber and also mint and then served with uh, cilantro vinaigrette. Wagyu, I love wagyu. This I know is eggplant, I identified that one. So eggplant, some peppers, mm. looks really nice, yes. nice, nicely cooked, seasoned. Looks like it's a little, a little spicy there I'd say. So, uh, well I will say Thai food, you guys, you guys like your spice. Yes. So I'm sure we're gonna have some real good flavors here. Now we have a, is this papaya? Yes, som tam, papaya salad. Looks yeah. gorgeous. It's uh, healthy, colorful, delicious, a little spicy, tangy. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah. Now, this I know because there's an egg on it. We got some peanuts beside it. This is the uh, pad thai, right? Yes, it is pad thai shrimp. Yeah, and served with some uh, string beans, I mean, no, sorry, uh, bean sprouts and also the, um, ground peanuts on the side. As Amazing. Well. And then fried rice? Fried rice with shrimp. Amazing. Yes. And then, what, last but not least, what's these little uh, what's these little things? So, that one is the fresh spring rolls. So it is an assortment of vegetables, some of the uh, bean sprouts, um, some lettuce, also carrots, mint, and peanut then, sauce, and then dipped with peanut sauce and wrapped with rice uh, flour, uh, rice paper. I can smell yes. the peanut sauce. Wow. Okay. Well, this looks delectable. Boom. Thank you so much for walking me through this. Um, sorry you. if I mispronounce some of this stuff, but I know it's going to be awesome. I also have some of their uh, signature sauces and seasonings on the side, guys, but I'm pumped. So Thai food, the ultimate Thai food experience. Let's dive on in. Let's get started here just momentarily. All right, everyone, so with that, we might as well get started. Like I said, one of the most beautiful restaurants I've been to in a long time. Just look at this. Look at this behind me. Looks awesome. Um, but yeah, I also have some of their um, like Pops chili oil. That's the, uh, the main chef. They call them Pops. I have some of their godmother sauces, a secret sauce. 
Here we got some, uh, they brought me some chili flakes, which they said is like super, super spicy. But everybody, this looks delicious. So like I said, let's get it rocking and a rolling. We will have 30 minutes. Um, and yes, it is to get the free meal. And the price of this is $179, is that right? So $179, guys. So let's hope we can complete this. So that's about it. I'm ready. Where am I going to start? Mm, I'm probably going to start maybe with the, probably the short rib at the start. Or the, like the, the braised beef rib. Looks awesome. They got a sauce on it as well. And um, that's about that. I think it's a good place to start. There's like lots of little vegetables and so many additions here throughout. So I think we're in for a heck of a treat. I do have a little uh, plate here if I need it. Oh, and check this out, guys. They brought me a drink and a pineapple. They said like it's a specialty drink they got. They have all these cool containers. So look at that. It literally is the holder. The top is the holder. So it's like a goblet of, let's see what it's like. Ooh, I like it. Okay. Anyway, how about we get started, guys? Big old beef rib. Oh, I'm pumped. I'm kind of a little scared. I've never had blue rice, but it smells good. So let's get started. Let's say maybe three, two, one. Let us eat. Mmm. Woo! Oh, guys. What's that sauce that's on this? And then curry, guys. Whoa. Real quick, look at that beef rib, guys. Mmm. Mmm. That just like fall off the bone. Holy crap. I really fall off the bone. Mm. And the flavor on it, that curry. Wow. Wow. Just yes. Ooh, that fat, oh my god. Oh man, perfectly rendered, guys. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we are having what is undoubtedly the craziest Thai food challenge I've ever seen, ever attempted, and oh my gosh, let's just say this is one you do not want to miss. So the stakes were really high. We were facing a $180 price tag if we were not able to complete this challenge in the 30 minute time limit. But that being said, I was determined to just put my head down. Well, let's say maybe I got a little distracted with all the flavors, but you know, I wanted to make sure I could focus, get this win. Um, but like I said, guys, Farmhouse Thai, what an incredible place. I, like I said, I have never had or never seen even a Thai food challenge like this before. So with that, I'll let you get to the video. Lots of natural commentary. And uh, oh my gosh, guys, let me know what you think of Thai food down below. And let's get into it. So good. Wow. Guys, okay, those are making super rich though. I'm going to try some of this um, papaya salad. Exactly what I was looking for. Something a little like acidic cleans that cleanse that palate. Wow, amazing. Ready bread? I'm gonna try this fried chicken guys. Look at the chicken, it's super crispy. Mmm. Wow. A 3D crunch. Mmm. A little bit of salt. Crazy crispy. I'm gonna get a little bit of citrus in there, maybe. Alright, this is a try with the curry. Give them that curry. Wow. Very good. Sweet chili sauce, try that. Mmm. That's not your normal sweet chili sauce. I'm gonna try this godmother sauce. They said it's so special. Wow! I've never tasted anything like that. I'll try this pop chili oil just because. Mm. 
Spicy. All right. Wow, everybody. I am like... This is nuts. Mm. All right. I'll start actually eating things now. I've been enjoying this too much, guys. This is fantastic. Got a spring roll? I think I'm supposed to eat the blue rice with the chicken. I totally forgot that chicken was that good. But I'll come to the blue rice and we'll try it. Got some eggplants here too. Very juicy, rich looking eggplants. Mm. Oh wow. Definitely heavy. Got some really nice Thai kind of flavors in there. I think there's a little bit of peanut as well. Damn guys. This is all super, super impressive. Like I just want to take my time to eat all this, like, slowly. This is, wow. I've never had Thai food like this. Mm. Try this little beef thing. And there's a cilantro kind of paste it to me. Wow. Woo. Mint, cucumber, super fresh. This wagyu is just fall apart. Like. That's delicious. Oh my god. I don't know what to expect, but totally blown away. Mind blown. This is samosa. Is that curry in it? Cool. So curry in the samosa. And the samosa here, it's like a super uh, flaky pastry. I've never had a samosa like that before. Try this thing. Mmm. Oh, man. That peanut sauce, the mint, texture of that rice paper. Mmm. Wow. I love this peanut sauce. I put it in the smoke though. Super flaky ro ro uh, roddy as well. I love it. I've been so busy eating, I haven't even been, I didn't even drink any, I didn't even drink anything yet. Guys, the flavors. It's been so moist. Juicy. Crazy. There's also fruit on this. You guys know I like, I like some fruits, like my fruits and vegetables. Excuse me, here we have the pad thai. The, uh, excuse me. Fried rice. Woo! Need some of these garnishes, y'all. All right. I think it's a good time to try this blue rice, everybody. The moment of truth, blue rice. Sorry, I forgot about the chicken when I was eating this. It was The chicken was that good. Maybe I'll get seconds, but I'll also try this. I mean, simply the way I put it, it is a really, really nice kind of a basmati kind of grain rice with a great floral hint. A little, uh, real fresh, almost kind of like 
Got a little bit of mint in there somewhere with some bite. Maybe I'll throw some of this godmother sauce on there. I love all these flavors, everybody. That's what I love. I love food with flavor. Wow. Definitely some spice in that stuff, too. Woo! Wow, I got my nose running a little bit. Woo! A little spicy. Guys, flavors. Woo! I don't know what I just ate. One of those sauces is real. It got it's that godmother the godmother sauce. sauce, guys. That is spicy, like hot. Caliente, I'll tell you that much. I'll try some of this special drink. I know this is to put the lime on. The pad thai. So I gotta tell you, they're right about everything so far. So the line goes up the pad thai. Wow, seafood. Oh, I gotta say, but this is a lot of food. It is so delicious and flavorful, but it's a lot of food. This would really feed your family. Man, that's good. I put like a little bit of sweet chili on that fried rice. Wow. That sweetness really brings out the savoriness. Compliments it. Has anybody ever eaten one of these before? Never? Wow. Yeah, there's like, uh, no one's ever eaten one of these by themselves before. And I see why it's very filling. This is like a huge family meal. Did you say that, like, you guys, if you if a family orders this, they get a free kids' meal too? Is that right? For to go during the day. Yeah, so during the pandemic, if you ordered one of these, they gave you a free kids meal too. I don't know what size of family they're feeding though. This is huge. I think this would feed you freaking your multiple, I don't, maybe a multiple spouses. I don't know, I judging. Multiple spouses, kids, whoever you got in that household, your parents, your godmother, they're feeding you. I tell you, this thing is feeding you. Wow. Oh, all right, everybody. We are coming to an end. About. I think 17 minutes in. This is a lot more food than I anticipated. Wow. Excuse me. Thomas and Chef, heavy items. You know, this pad thai is just literally, they, 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 I like the way they compress it on here, but it is, when you start to break it up, you, you notice how much you have. Whoa. Wow, what a flavor. It is such more of a complex flavor than I'm used to. There's a lot of food though, everybody. Wow. Well, about 20 minutes in, a lot of food. All right, everybody, finish my tie. Got less, Mosa. 
Like I said, like I said, I've never had taught you like this before. The complexity of flavors. I have a whole new appreciation for chai food. Just wow. And such a flaky, buttery samosa. Well, this is probably just considered a garnish, but I'll finish the fruit, you know. I like I do like strawberries. I imagine it's gonna taste like a strawberry, but in the best way possible. It tastes like a strawberry, believe it or not. I don't think I need to describe what grapes taste like, but just in case. They're sweet, little floral notes on these black ones. Alrighty, and we are done. Woo! Thank you, thank you. Wow. Alright everybody, that was absolutely delicious. It was about maybe like 22 and a half minutes. You guys have exact time on screen, but... All right, I gotta say, I have never, ever, 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 ever had Thai food like that before. This was absolutely game changing. I did not know Thai food could have just so much complexity, such a depth of flavor. It really was an experience. And even items like the Pad Thai, which I'm like, well, I've had Pad Thai before. No, I haven't. This was nuts. Just again, there's, there's like every bite. There is probably like at least five or six different flavors I could pinpoint, like at least three to four different sensory experiences, like bitterness and sweetness, acidity. It was absolutely insane. My favorites today, um, well, I loved that, that, that braised beef rib. That was exceptional with that curry sauce on it. Wow, the fried chicken was amazing, guys. Um, you know, I, 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 one thing which I was really surprised how much I enjoyed was the fried rice. The fried rice was awesome. The shrimp fried rice. These little beef things were just out of this world. The Wagyu super tender. Um, I actually don't think there's an item on here I, I did not enjoy. So if you're at all guys in the Bay Area, definitely stop by a farmhouse near you. Again, there's a couple locations around, more coming. This was absolutely fantastic. I absolutely loved everything. Um, yeah, huge thanks to the staff. They've been super awesome here. And uh, that's about that, guys. So come on by with your family. Grab yourself a little loud plate like this again. I think this is definitely a plate to feed a family. You don't need to eat this much food. I wouldn't recommend eating this much food in one sitting. But I guess if you wanted to order it and have food for the week, you could definitely do that. Um, so that one, you can be able to which is pretty cool. And uh, oh, that's about that. I'm full. I'm so full. That was heavy, heavy, rich foods, but in the best way possible. So that everyone, till next time, stay happy out the hungry, happy eating. Oh. Until next time, have a lovely day. Whew, all right. That was a lot of food. That was a lot of... Uh... can't believe you finished it by yourself. No, what is this? I heard you could eat a lot more, so I'm what? bringing you another dish. What Actually, is? Actually, another couple. A lo okay, I got a, okay, I got a lobster. La, uh, tsunami Ooh. lobster. A tsunami lobster, okay. And, uh, and another about, one. Okay, a cup of noodles. Yeah, it's wow. called volcano cup noodles. All right, here. Let me uh, let's let me get, get let's one. get rid of that. Wow. Okay. So guys, I just ate all that. I'm not. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'll only, I'll try a bite. I'll try a bite since they were so generous to bring me these. Oh, but holy jump! It's look at this. So we got volcano cup noodles. You said. Wow, so it's literally in like a uh, cup noodle cup. Is this, I see a bone, is this a beef rib on here? Yeah. A beef rib and noodles and what is this? Peppercorns. Peppercorns? Yes. Wow, okay. So we'll try a bite of this, this volcano noodle. That is a heck of a looking dish. And then tsunami lobster. Look at this everybody. It's literally like a, a whole lobster. That's the tail, there's the claws. Show you the front of it. 
Wow. And we got shrimps in here. Ooh, is scallops? Yes. Holy crap. This is, uh, that is, wow. Okay, well, I'm gonna try a bite. I do like seafood, everybody, so I gotta try the scallop. Looks like there's like a little bit of curry, maybe, something like that. Ooh, it smells good. Mmm. Thank you. Perfectly cooked scallop. Tender, juicy. Is this squid? Calamari? Mmm. What else do we have in here? I see mussels. Alright, well, at first, of course, I gotta try the lobster. Looks like some, uh. What's on this here? Mmm, fried garlic. Wow. Lobster tail, of course. Hard to go on with that. And what, what's this flavors and seasoning on this tsunami lobster? Yellow curry paste. Yellow curry paste? Secret spice. Mmm. And we have a yellow rice There's a rice underneath this? Wow. Dive. There's, there's so much in this bowl. And then you have to mix it together. I gotta mix it together here. Well, I'll try the yellow rice. Mmm. I gotta say, whatever is in the seasoning, though. Wow, that sauce. That is just so flavorful. Just like. Mm. What on earth? Wow! Guys! Can I buy some of this and take it home? This is like. Wow! So I'm gonna try to show you on camera. Whatever this little like dark saucy bits they have all over the lobster. They have in this bowl here. It is just garlic and onions and something fresh and it's like zesty and wow okay there's just so much and this is guys I, I first thought it was just a lobster in here there's like so much stuff wow okay i may have to, to dive into that but for the sake of time let's try this uh volcano noodles real quick okay i gotta say though that that is that is damn good. That freaking tsunami lobster. Whoa, okay. So now you gotta try the little owl and the tsunami lobster, guys. That is bomb. Bomb diggity. All right, so what is like, it, oh wow, this is literally a short rib. And I got, is there vegetables in there? Yeah. And noodles? Do you like mix it up? Okay, so I'm gonna plop this. Wow, that short rib is literally just, what is I just, I didn't fall off that bone. Okay, and then we got some veggies. Cool, it's kind of like a, I don't know, like stir fry in a way. Nice, nice, nice. Got some chopsticks. All right, let's, uh, we got some, looks like cabbage. Got some, lots of, or not some, lots of peppercorns. Lots of beef that just looks delicious on here. Let me show you that without it falling over. Looks great. All right, I'm gonna try this. I do well here. I, I, I already know what to say what this uh, rib is a little bit like, but. Oh, oh my God, that's better the second time. Just melt in your mouth. Got a fatty rib, pepper, mm. try the noodles. Mm. Great, it's almost like a, mm. like an anise, anise, whatever you call that, like almost like a five spice. Definitely some like, Peppercorns, definitely some peppercorns in there. It's like a, it's one of those like peppercorn or flavors that almost like almost numbs your mouth a little bit, which I love. Wow. Okay, cabbage. Where? More of this beef. Oh god, that is too good. All right, well, it turns out. There are endless delicious items here. Mmm, too good. All right, well, I'll probably pick this a little more, everybody, but like I said, thank you for watching. Thank you to the staff. They've been super generous. You didn't have to bring me this, guys. I appreciate that. But uh, yeah, you gotta come on by. Try this freaking tsunami lobster. Mmm, man, that flavor is so, so, so good. Whatever they put on this, 
It sounds funny, but I think I could just like lick the shells. Wow. All right, I'm gonna get eaten, but until next time, everybody. Let's have a, have a lovely day.